Now you're on BeatStars and you're navigating through, um, you know, having an online business and learning the tricks of the trade. What are some music focus um, tips or things that you learn that you think you could pass on as well? Even just down to like, make sure you read a contract or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so I think that can be broken into two parts. Um, first of all, just like the creation side of things. Um, and then probably like the business side of things. But um, I think it's important to separate those two, for me at least, the way that my like day-to-day -day works and, and the way that my, I guess, brain works. I don't know. Um, I need to have separate time focused on creation and separate time focused on like, you know, email, marketing, graphics, uploading, all of that other stuff. Um, and so I would encourage people... Um, as far as the creating side goes, uh, you really need to limit distractions and it's it's really difficult. But for me, I finally got to the point where I was able to time block every single morning, you know, a three to four hour period. Now, of course I do this full time, but the principle is the same. You need to work on your craft every single day. That's important um regardless if you're just starting or if you've been doing this for 10 years plus you need to work on it every single day but the key is like that needs to be like very focused work like to me working on a beat isn't really like oh i'm like here and then i'm working on a beat and then i'm here oh let me check you know did i get a like on my life like it's you're locked in to the the project and i think that the way that the brain works is like it makes sense that you know like everybody gets all anxious all the time because we have all these things popping up you got notifications on your phone you got notifications on your computer and your brain is all over the place um so for music lock in even if it's just one hour, turn your phone off, put your phone in the other room, just lock in and focus on being in that moment of creating. And then, you know, separately do the other things and keep those two very separate. And I think that that's something that anyone can like directly apply right now. And it, it will um, help them feel more productive, probably alleviate some stress and, and some other stuff, so. No, I love that you said that. Um, I think something that it's a conversation my friends and I have been having recently is like 10,000 hours is a, is a great concept. But I think what people forget is that you're not counting every day. You're, if you're not sitting and working on your craft for 24 hours, and those are not 24 hours you can count towards your 10,000. Right. So, so you guys definitely need to be like scheduling out your time and making sure that you're taking time to put things into your craft. And I mean, like 10,000 hours could be across multiple things it depends on how you group it so it could be one in terms of like strengthening your creativity or one on focusing on how you're marketing yourself and, and becoming a, an expert at doing that in like a cyclical fashion um so yeah thank you